Today we will see some more examples related to applications of graphs. The train 1 leaves from city A to city B at 8 a.m. The train 2 leaves for city B at 9 a.m. The journey of both trains are represented in the form of graph. Study the graph to find the answers to the following questions. At what time did the two trains come together? The graph drawn for the two trains meet each other at 10 a.m., indicating that the two trains must have come together at 10 a.m. For how long did train 1 stop during the journey? The graph of train 1 is a horizontal line from 10 a.m to 10.42 a.m. That is, there has been no change in the distance travelled by train 1 during this time. Therefore, we can say that train 1 stopped from 10 a.m. to 10.42 a.m. during the journey, which means train 1 stopped for 42 minutes. What was the speed of train 1 before stopping at 10 a.m.? Train 1 has covered a distance of 100 km in 2 hours before stopping. In this way, the speed of train 1 before stopping was 100 km per 2 hour equal to 50 km per hour. When train 2 reached city B, how far was train 1 from city B? Train 2 reached city B at 12 p.m. At this time, train 1 had covered a distance of 190 km, so 300 km minus 190 km equal to 110 km. So, distance of train 1 from city B was 110 km. Next example, the price of 1 liter of milk is rupees 40. So, represent the price of 2, 3, 4, and 5 liters of milk as a line graph. If the price of 1 liter of milk is rupees 40, so the value of 2 liters of milk is rupees 80. The cost of 3 liters of milk is rupees 120. The price of 4 liters of milk is rupees 160. And the price of 5 liters of milk is rupees 200. We will represent this data in this way. Now we will draw the graph for the table. Draw two perpendicular lines on the graph paper. The horizontal line is the x-axis and the vertical line is the y-axis. After this, we will show the independent variable, which is the quantity of the milk on the x-axis. Scale for x-axis, 1 unit equals to 1 liter. The dependent variable on the y-axis will denote the price of milk. 1 unit equals to rupees 40 for y axis. It is known from the table that the highest milk price is rupees 200. Therefore, we take the last price of milk on the y axis at rupees 200. Now, we will mark the points according to the scale. The price of 1 liter of milk is rupees 40. So, we will move 1 unit to the right on the x axis and then 1 unit upwards. Now, at this place, we will mark a point that means coordinates 140. The price of 2 liters of milk is rupees 80. So, we will move 2 units to the right on the x-axis and then 2 units upwards. Now, at this place, we will mark a point that means coordinates 280. Similarly, we will also mark the coordinates 3, 120, 4, 160, and 5, 200. After this, we will join all the points with line segments. We have represented the price and the quantity of milk in the form of a graph. The graph created is a linear graph. The graph tells us that as the quantity of milk is increasing, so is the price. Therefore, this graph is showing two quantities which are proportional.
Today we have seen some more examples related to applications of graphs. 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 Graphs.